Good morning, Clatford. So we're going to carry on today with our lovely book, Leon and the Place Between. So if you remember, Leon has gone into the tent and the lights have gone down and the music has started and there has been an organ playing with a monkey. And this is where we're going to carry on from. OK. At last, the barrel organ fell silent. No one stirred. For a moment, the tiny creaks of the mechanical toys cast their own spells. Then they slowed, jerked awkwardly and were still. The solemn monkey took a stiff bow. The curtains closed to loud applause. Now, said Leon, edging forward in the dark. Now it's going to happen. Outside in the night, an owl hooted. With a swish, the curtains opened. Poof! A cloud of purple smoke filled the stage and there he was. Abdul Kazam. There is Abdul Kazam. You can see that. Sparks flew from his fingertips. Leon could smell the magic. There we go, thinking about our senses again. Trust nothing, said Abdul Kazam, but believe everything. He threw his arms into the air and the magic began. Paper flowers blossomed from his sleeves. Silk scarves changed colour at a whispered word. Water poured into a hat, turned into night air. Bright white handkerchiefs became fluttering doves. The crowd was amazed. Then Abdul Kazam stepped aside and there was a door. A door into a box. Who will step into the magic? Leon knew it had to be him. He stepped up to the stage and climbed into the box. There was a gasp from little Mo and the door shut behind him. Two questions. Number one, would you have climbed into the box? No idea what was going to go on, what was in there. Would you have climbed into the box? I think. Question number two, what was going to happen when Leon climbed into the box? What do you think is in there? Is it just a box? Is it just a dark box that he's in? Or knowing the magic that's already happened with Abdul Kazam, do you think something else is going to happen inside the box? What could be there? What could be inside there? What could be inside this magic world? Have a think. Jot some things down. I'd love to know your ideas before we carry on with the book later on in the week. Okay, have a fab day. Bye.